to satisfy yourself how it would cramp your expressiveness and inventiveness if you could differentiate only a couple of vowels and consonants. Just try seeing how many different words you could speak if you could only pronounce the vowels A and U and the consonants C and P. Suppose you wanted to say, Pasadena is a great place to live. All that you could say was C, A, U, and P would be cap, capapa, up a cap, cap, capap. And <laughs> if you then wanted to say, Pasadena is a bad place to sneeze, out would come cap, capapa, up a cap, cap, capap. You couldn't differentiate it. Without language, we can't communicate a complex plan. We can't think out a complex plan in the first place. We can't brainstorm with each other about how to design a better tool. We can't discuss a beautiful painting. But our vocal tract is like a Swiss watch with dozens of tiny muscles and nerves and tendons and bits of cartilage working together in precisely coordinated ways. Thus, given the already impressive linguistic capabilities of chimpanzees, and given an ancestral human that already had a brain four times the brain capacity of a chimpanzee, but still had a chimp-like vocal tract. Then a series of small changes in the structure of the vocal tract that let us pronounce dozens of distinct sounds instead of just a few might have been the trigger for a complex language and hence for the great leap forward. Those small changes in our vocal tract may have been the missing prerequisite for the development of human inventiveness. With language, we can invent 